Hi all, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we're continuing on with the 2019 AP Calculus AB free response questions, and we're looking at number five. As usual, if I made any mistakes um, in the video, um, look in the description for the corrections, as well as um, I have links to PDF solutions that I'll keep up to date that are will be corrected. So let R be the region enclosed by the graphs G of X and H of X. Um, which is which? Um, this one looks more like a cosine right here, and this one looks like a parabola, so this is like h of x right here. This is g of x. It's important to know which one's on top and bottom. That y-axis, the vertical line x equals 2, is shown in the figure above. Find the area of r. So for the area of r, what I'm going to do is I'm going to integrate um, from 0 to 2, top minus bottom, right? h of x minus g of x dx. This is going to be integral 0 to 2. h of x is this. So I'm going to do 6 minus 2x minus 1 squared minus minus 2 plus 3 cosine pi over 2x. All, all of this needs to be by dx. Okay, so let's look at the, the only thing I combined really are the constants. So 6 minus negative 2 is going to be 6 plus 2, that's going to be 8. Uh, minus 2x minus 1 squared minus 3 cosine pi over 2x. So this is what I'm integrating. So this is going to be 8x minus, the integral of this is minus 2 thirds x minus 1 cubed. I do power rule. With technically a u substitution, not that important if you do, you could do this without a, u, a specific u substitution. But you could do u sub if you wanted to make sure you do it analytically correct. And then minus, let's see, derivative of sine is positive cosine, so it's minus 3 divided by pi over 2 uh, sine of pi over 2 x, evaluated from 0 to 2. Now, um, let's do each one at a time. Um, 2 minus 0 is going to be 2, so it's going to be 8 times 2, that's going to be 16 minus 2 thirds 2 minus 1 is 1, 1 cubed minus negative 1 cubed. And then here is going to be minus 6 over pi sine of pi minus sine of 0. This whole thing is 0 here. So this is going to be 16 minus 1 plus 1 is 2. So it's minus 4 thirds. And this is 48 over 3 minus 4 thirds, and that's 44 over 3. A lot of arithmetic there. Uh, region R is the base of a solid. For each solid, at the cross-sectional perpendicular x-axis is an area, 1 over x plus 3. Find the volume of the solid. I actually don't even need any of this. This is the confusing part. They gave you the area already. So if I were to take a little shape here, and take an infinitesimal rectangle, OK? Like that's my representative rectangle, and I would construct a, a, a three-dimensional shape from that. The cross-sectional area they've already given you. Like what's the volume of some arbitrary shape it makes? The little volume it would be is just simply a of x times dx. It would be the area of the face times the thickness of it. So the total volume is just the integral of a of x dx from 0 to 2, because this is the volume of 1. So then I'm going to integrate from 0 to 2, 1 over x plus 3 dx. That natural log, absolute value of x plus 3 from 0 to 2. So that's ln of 5 minus ln of 3. And by log rules, that would be ln of 5 thirds. Okay. And then write, but do not evaluate an integral expression that gives you the volume of the solid generated when r is rotated around the horizontal line y equals 6. Um, 6 is probably like, it doesn't really matter. We'll just say it's like somewhere above here, way above everything. Okay, so then I want to say, well, this rectangle, as it revolves, creates a disk, right? A little three-dimensional disk here. Okay, and I want to know the volume of the disk. The volume of that disk is just simply the area of that disk times dx. So the area times dx. Now, the, the, times the thickness of the disk, that's the volume of my little disk. Now the area is the area of the big circle minus the area of the little circle. So pi times the big r squared 
minus little r squared dx. Big R is the distance from here all the way down to the bottom of my rectangle. Okay, So it's always top minus bottom when you want to do this distance. The top is 6. The bottom in this case would be g of x. So big R is equal to 6 minus g of x. And little r is also is the distance from here to h of x. So it's 6 minus h of x. So my integral then is going to be the integral from 0 to 2 pi times 6 minus g of x squared minus 6 minus h of x squared dx. And I am done. Hope you found that helpful. Um, leave a comment if I made a mistake or if you have any questions, and I'll see you in the next video.